My name is Elaine Ald. I have the pleasure, I've had the pleasure of being the CEO for Sophie for 25 years until 19, until 2021. So my name is Elaine Ald. I'm the CEO Emerita for Sophie and have been a member for over 40 years. I first got involved with Sophie as a volunteer and I um, worked in other nonprofit organizations and um, was involved with Sophie's various committees, particularly advocacy, because I'm so passionate about that theme. And um, then as Sophie wanted to move its offices to Washington, D.C., I had the opportunity to apply for the position of CEO, and I was selected and then spent the rest of my professional career there. Well, I think what makes Sophie a very unique organization is it's really a family. When one goes into this this discipline in health education, you're often working alone in an organization with many other health professionals. You're the only one coming from the, uh, the specific training that you have. And um, it, it is so reinforcing to be able to connect with other people in the field, whether at a conference, on a webinar, or working on a volunteer project, because they speak your language and they come from the same you know, professional training and have the same passion and commitment to the work that we're doing. So I think um, it, unlike some other organizations I've been a part of, um, I clearly feel that Sophie has, has excelled in that area of making the community and making people, um, reinforcing uh, the values and the evidence-based work that we all have to do in the field. Public health is a, is a difficult task especially since COVID, and, and um, we, we need to be able to uh, help build each other up in the work we do, share our insights, share the research, share the best practices in the field, and um, all in the name of uh, making the healthy choice the easy choice for the public. Well, one of the best parts of, of coming back to the to a SOFI conference is the networking. Um, the opportunity to interact with our exhibitors who are bringing us the various uh, latest resources in the field uh, we need to do our work. Um, and um, certainly the opportunity to get what is the cutting edge. You know, Sophie conferences always deliver content that is on the cutting edge, on the cutting edge of, of you know, example, artificial intelligence. What is that going to mean for our field? How do we have to train our students to be prepared to work in this in this new environment, so uh, you don't get that kind of content um, as well delivered. Everything over the two and a half or three days of a Sophie conference is all tailored to health education specifically, and uh, again, that makes our conference very unique and very attractive. Um, the continuing education credits we have to stay current in our discipline to be able to do the best we can for the public. And this is a conference that always ensures that you're getting continuing ed credits um, that are in line with our discipline um, and enables you to be a better professional in the field. Well, um, webinars are great, and not everybody can travel to a conference like this because of very family commitments or you know job responsibilities. Um, and so being able to get online and take courses, uh, participate in webinars has been a great value of Sophie. In addition, I would say our journals, our journals, our three journals are, are stellar in the field. They're delivering content um, on a monthly basis that enables us again to learn from the best and the brightest in the field and be able to then integrate that into the work that we do every day. Um, so I think our, jewel, our, our journals are truly jewels of our field, and um, they are probably sometimes underappreciated um, in terms of a benefit that SOFI members get. Just by being a member, you get access to 16 journals um, a year and sometimes special supplements, again, that are done in collaboration with the federal government um, and uh, Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion, CDC, other um, you know major organizations that are uh, are bringing to you the the various interventions that are so important in our work. So, one of the greatest benefits of being a member that Sophie provides are our three journals, peer-reviewed journals. Um, there are 
Every month we get a, a journal that gives us new research in the field, best practices, best practices to be teaching new professionals. And um, I, I, that is a, a stellar benefit in terms of how we're able to practice and, and improve our practice. In addition to be able to be an author um, and contribute to those journals is, uh, is not a requirement of being a SOFI member, but it's certainly a benefit um, because you are attracted to those publications with such a high track record. Um, each of them has a very dedicated editorial board, mem board members and journal uh, editors-in-chief um, that are really staying on the cutting edge of what's happening in the field. And so being able to get those journals is a true, um, true membership benefit and a value beyond what we pay to be a member. The challenges we face today as a nation and as a global society are really enormous. And we need health education specialists to be trained on the front line. We bring so many unique skills to be able to engage communities, to be advocates for those vulnerable populations who can't speak for themselves, to make the healthy choice the easy choice. And without an organization like SOFI to help us do that work in the field, I think um, we would see even more uh, morbidity and mortality. I believe that in, as a nation, as a country, as a world, the role of health education specialists couldn't be more important in eliminating health disparities, achieving health equity, and being a voice for populations that have been left behind. Part of being a health education professional is to volunteer for your professional society, to be engaged in the work and being an active part of making the mission of the organization and making the mission of SOFI come alive. And I believe over my career I've been you know, involved in a lot of different volunteer activities for SOFI and other professional organizations, but the value that it has brought back to me, my growth as a professional, um, by interacting with others in, in these volunteer roles, expanding my network of people across the country I probably have never have, would have been able to work with and learn from has been really significant. And I know that there are a lot of challenges today for our time, but I really want to give a plea for our young professionals and students to get involved because your career will grow. You will not only advance professionally, but personally as well. You know, Sophie moved to Washington, D.C. because we recognize the importance of uh, being an advocate for the field at the federal level. We need to be a player at the table. We need to have a seat at the table. We need to have a voice for our profession. So Sophie has been really a champion um, at, in Congress uh, and through our advocacy summits for important regulations, legislation, um, comments on proposed rules, healthy people objectives for the nation, and many other areas um, in terms of being an effective advocate. I personally was able to uh, testify before Congress about uh, the need for appropriations to support our work, and what we have had a lot of successes over time working with other coalitions in Washington, D.C. So I think one of the most um, valuable roles that Sophie does play is that a voice for the field and a voice for those that are not able to speak for themselves uh, to those powers that are making the laws and the regulations in this country. You know, this is one of the most exciting times to be in health education. Um, the career that you've chosen or the career to be a health educator is so needed in our field right now. We have so many opportunities as people begin to recognize the skills that we bring, community engagement, health communications, and all of the technology skills that we have, um, the ability to form coalitions, evaluate, and bring best practices uh, to the field are so um, beneficial to, you know, to our society at large and achieving the mission of SOFI. Being a health education specialist is not always easy work, but that's why SOFI is so important in the field and plays such a valuable role in bringing us the best practices, the new research, and to be advocating uh, for a, at a much larger level than we can do on a local basis. Well, I think now is one of the most exciting times to be in health education. 
Our profession is getting more recognition. It's growing. Um, we have a certification system now that is above all other certification systems uh, in public health. The research base for our field and how we do our training and professional development has grown so strong. And we see more and more employers looking to health educators with the unique skills that we have to bring them into the workplace, whether it's in a hospital setting or state or local government, a work site, K through 12, school health education in the classroom, or at, at a university level to teach about public health education. The opportunities are growing. So I think it's a field that is very rewarding. It allows you to really live out the values that you have um, and while you're doing uh, an enormous benefit for the public. So I really encourage our young professionals that are thinking about a career, is this the right niche? This is the time to get into it because the need is so great and our recognition of the value of what we do is also growing. I first got involved with Sophie at the chapter level. Uh, the National Capillary Chara Chapter uh, was a vibrant chapter when I relocated to Washington, D.C., and it enabled me to meet other fellow professionals at that time where we didn't have uh, a lot of the electronic media today that connects people. You went to meetings, you met face to face, and you volunteered, and that's how you started to grow your local Sophie family. Chapters are so important, really, to the vibrance of Sophie because they are the, the feet on the ground at the local level, and all we know, politics is local. So we need those advocates at the local level and um, to be able to, to speak about the important priorities in health education, the important priorities to public health. So chapter is a very good way to get involved. And if you don't have a chapter in your area, it's good to look around and try to start one because there are probably many more people like you that are looking for a connection and a way to get involved at the local level. In my career, I took a step forward after being involved with the chapter, stepped up to being a chair of a committee, uh, uh, another committee, and eventually giving me more public speaking roles to gain confidence in being able to represent the organization in front of many other, not only Congress, but many other peer public health organizations that were much larger than SOFI to be able to speak to government regulators, to be articulate about our profession, to be able to defend our profession at times when people may have not had very high opinion or very high value. Um, and today, as, especially as we've come through COVID, the importance of the messages that we develop, the infographics that are going to help the new country, of, as we have so many more immigrants now, we have to really have the challenge of, of speaking to them and, and, and appreciating their cultural competency that gets rolled into how we communicate with them, the messages, as well as the way we deliver those messages. So those are some areas I've been able to grow in. Uh, leadership development um, certainly was part of that. Again, part of that was volunteer. You know, you are able to observe, you have mentors, the baton turns over and, and you're in the seat and you're mentoring others. And uh, that's always been a very rewarding part as well of um, my involvement in Sophie and my professional growth. It's very rewarding. It's, a, it's to be able to point with pride that when you see whether it's staff that you have mentored as, a, as, as their boss or volunteers that you have mentored in committee roles and other professional um, volunteer activities to see them come forward, to see them being elected for trustees, to see them being elected as president and uh, going on and, and just really blossoming their careers. It's very rewarding. It makes you feel that you've helped the next generation and you've contributed to the mission of the organization, more importantly, to make the world a better place.